Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Perkins Engineering YouTube channel. This is episode number seven. Uh, apologies for uh, a couple of months delay between episode six and episode seven. It's been a pretty busy time for us at Perkins Engineering. Uh, obviously with all the, the restrictions of work easing, we've been able to get back into things properly. Um, not just with our car restorations, but also remanufacturing various parts and components for some customers. And we've also been pretty busy helping some of the supercars teams manufacture some pit equipment. So uh, especially the Blanchard Racing Team, a brand new team owned and operated by the Blanchard family, who are uh, family friends of the Perkinses. So we we're tools down helping those guys get their uh, new team underway and get into the racing season. Now we're back into the swing of things. We'll be able to get a few more videos of our restos and other projects happening. But right now we're back up on the farm and you'll see the some of Larry's vintage tractor collection behind me. We thought it'd be a great opportunity this episode to catch him with LP, who's relocated to the farm on a more permanent basis. Um, and we'll, we'll check in with him, see what he's been up to and see if there's any projects around the farm. And we've managed to track him down. Why, well, hello. G'day, Jack, how you doing? Good, what are you, what are you working on here? Well, there's multiple things I'm working on, but this is a Caterpillar 1937 that the family's had for a long time, and it's in a million bits, as you can see, and I've got to get it going. But there's other things in the shed here. Uh, tell us about the other things in the shed. What's <laughs> like? What could be a next project? Well, I know you're interested, Jack, in uh, my V-Dub. My, my, uh, I had this in the Repco, rally around Australia, 19, uh, whenever that was, 78, I think. Then this was in the Wind Safari, the same car with a new body on. And uh, uh, that was in 1983. And uh, I was going really well in it. I loved it. It's rallying is good stuff. So this is my next project to get this going. All complete uh, in a few bits. So just run us through a couple of things you did to it. I can notice it's got plastic windows. Took a bit of weight out of it. Yeah, it's a lightweight job. Everything's plastic. Uh, everything's thrown out. How does the driver's window stay up? The driver's window's got a very high-tech latch here, as you can see. That, that was, uh, took about five minutes to make with a bit of wire. Um, it's got a two-litre engine, which I, you know, made up. Got uh, good Bridgestone tyres on it that did two rallies. Uh, had fuel tanks inside here, and um, after six days of this rally, um, we were actually right up the front amongst the top two or three. But then I broke a steering ball joint. The old story in racing. If only we would have won. So, any uh, other tricks to this? Well, the tricks was a lightweight car. Uh, don't carry any junk and uh, plenty of ground clearance and uh, go and have some fun. That's what rallies are all about. And did you get to carry any spares? No, I didn't carry spares. I was I was a bit sneaky. I had my mate in the in an aeroplane. He carried my spares for me. <laughs> but you had the spare tire up the front. Yes, I had uh, two spare tyres, one in the back and one in the front. The hinges and everything, very high tech here. Carried the spare tyre around there, had an oil cooler there, that's all there in the back. Just a bit of work to do on it, like some of the things didn't survive the rally that well. I see the suspension is um, a little bit bent back there, but that's all uh, that's all fixable. You know, when you're pressing the V up hard, we all know uh, what happens to that. It bends it, pushes it. But no, this is a good old relic. Glad I've kept it. When will you get it on the road again? Oh, a couple of days' work. <laughs> Same as the Caterpillar. I'm into my third year of a couple of days' work. <laughs> But it's all here, the engine, look at this engine though. You, this is ready to go, the pilot engine, look. Which we've seen a, a video of that yeah, running. Yeah, so this is ready to go. I just gotta get the rest of this all together, but I've got parts flying around everywhere. 
Well, but, uh, we look forward to making another video with some more progress. Yeah, it's coming on winter now, so maybe after winter. <laughs>